Hello and welcome back to the Figure Forum. Uh, today we will be taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader replica helmet. Um, in a previous video we've had a look at the Infinity Gauntlet um, that was out for the Legends series, so along the same sort of lines. Um, so if you haven't checked that out yet, go and have a look there. I mean, I was really impressed with that. Um, I've been a big fan, as I mentioned before, of the, the Hasbro, the, the Black Series and Legend Series replicas that they've done. Really good value and, you know, I think they they are you can't you can't beat them for for what you get for your money uh, I've got a few of the black series replicas already um, I've got Kylo Ren um, we've got a stormtrooper here I've got it's a bit harder to find but I've got a uh, shadow trooper one there I've also got the Poe Dameron X-wing pilot um, which is is great as well all feature sound effects and I think they look great, you know, really, really movie accurate. Um, so, yeah, today we've got Vader. Uh, I was a bit torn about getting this one. I've already got a Darth Vader voice changer helmet, which I bought years back. And But it, it's good as a, as a you know, a, a fairly standard prop replica. It looks okay. Um, not too premium in any way, but... You know, it's it looks good um, with the rest of my collection. So I was a bit torn about getting the Black Series one, but because I've been so impressed with the the other releases, um, I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd take the plunge and get it. So whether it's worth it or not, we shall see. Um, it's here. It's it's a big box, as you can see here. Um, uh, we'll crack open that box and uh, yeah, let's see what we find. So if we start just by taking a look at the box here, um, like I say, substantial box. So we can take a lot of shelf space. Got the Black series, obviously, picture of Vader here, and then just a side profile. And switch it to the back. Kind of gives you a breakdown of what those component parts are. Just some drawings of the actual uh, helmet there. Some bullet points about Vader and uh, and what's in the box there. We turn around again, just kind of shows you that three part makeup of what you're going to get in the box. Just got some of the sort of Empire branding there. And then we make our way back to the front. So yeah, that's the outside of the box. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so he's out of the box. Um, once you dispense of all the, the sort of cardboard and the and the bags, you, you've, you're left with two kind of component parts. Well, three really. You also get a little stand um, which helps to keep the the mask be even when you're displaying because obviously the the ridge on the helmet extends beyond the top of here so this little stand is provided so you can prop that up and it it's a much more stable when you're displaying which is a really nice it's really nice that they've added that um to help those who want to keep the items on display yeah so two component parts we've We'll look at each individually. Um, really, you know, it's the basic hood. We all know what this looks like. Um, yeah, I mean, really good, sturdy enough. Um, and yeah, you know, it's the, the traditional Darth Vader hood that we all, we all kind of know and love. And then we've got the main bulk of the mask, the replica here. Um, a good yeah nice again it's you know it's movie accurate it's got it, it kind of looks the way that you wanted to look and it's quite a good size as well it's definitely kind of seems full size I know there are some you know purists out there that'll probably tell me that that isn't the right size but it's bigger than anything I've had before in terms of a you know a, a replica 
um, as we turn it around here, we can see, you know, lots of detailing on the top. And that's where the, the hood sits. And then, you know, as we go round, we can see the, the kind of inner workings of it a bit more. So again, inside, very good. Um, lots of detail in there of the inside of the mask, which is which is cool. Again, something, you know, they didn't really have to add, but I think, you know, adds a nice, you know, adds a nice touches to it. And we've got this strap here to help adjust when you're, you know, if you're, you're planning to wear it. Again, um, you know, up to you, I probably won't. It's a piece that I wear and I'll have on display. I don't really wear the, the replicas out. Again, they are hard wearing, but at, at the end of the day, they are plastic. So, you know, I'm not sure how much they'll stand up to constant wear. Um, but yeah, as we go round again, same on the other side. What you will notice here as well is there's two little points here. These actually unclip like this and you can open that up uh, to be able to, again, just make it easier to wear. And This is kind of lined with a, a nice rubber so again, it's sort of built for a bit more comfort, but also, you know, if you are displaying it, it's, it's a bit more hard wearing. It's a nice rubber on there. Uh, the batteries for this, it's nice and discreet. It's hidden, fits just into this compartment here. Two AAAs go in there, and that just um, provides the, the kind of sound for the replica. So we switch around the button, so that sound can be found just here. So we'll give that a go. Let's have him facing us for, for full effect. So, you know, traditional Darth Vader breathing there. Um, doesn't do too much else, um, but then, you know, the. It is what it is. You, you know, it's not. It's not going to do too much, and that's pretty much the the most you're go you're going to want for it. It's not a voice changer. Um, they have tried that before. Um, we've got the Kylo Ren one, which it didn't really work. You know, it's it's great for display, but the voice changing was pretty awful. I believe a stormtrooper did it as well, um, and you had to make all manner of modifications for it to even sound close to to what you do in the movie so yeah i think i think again great that they're they're sort of learning their lessons there and playing to their strengths and just um you know just just sort of making it pretty basic but do the basics really well um and then yeah we'll i think we'll put them all together and we'll we'll take a look uh, at the finished article so here we have him he's got the hood on um and you can see just utilizing that stand there to make it nice and sturdy. Um, I have tried it without the stand. It isn't as great. As I say, you encounter problems because the hood um, comes too far down the back. So you really will need the stand if you're hoping to display. Um, the hood is great. It's got a series of magnets on the top of that piece. So it snaps in and once it's on, you know, it's not really going anywhere. So again, some you know nice functional additions there um which make it look you know look look really nice and accurate and um will you know will will sit really sturdy on your shelf um i'm just going to pull in the my other one um that i had previously just so to see what this is replacing just so you can see the difference so here we go, hopefully that's a good enough shot, but yeah, this is a difference. So this was a previous, um, it was a voice changer um, Darth Vader helmet. So it came with um, a sort of front pack with a load of buttons, which, you know, had different movie phrases and the breathing and again, a, a fairly ineffective voice changer, but um, yeah, that that's what's been doing the job for me so far. Um, 
you know, a decent size, but when you compare it to the Black Series one, you can see that, you know, this one is a lot bigger. I mean, obviously this is on the stand, um, so appears a little bit bigger than, you know, than it might do without. But um, yeah, I mean, not too much difference. Obviously this one is, is new, so it's looking shiny and, and clean and it's got, you know, it's got a few more things that, that kind of make it look a bit more premium. Um, we've got, you know, this, you know, this, the previous one again, it's good, you know, it did the job, like I say, and then we've got this one. So, I mean, for me, you know, the main difference really is, is the size, um, and, and this one and the, the black series one has, you know, a few more kind of bells and whistles in terms of what you get inside the helmet in, uh, in this one, there's, there's next to nothing. It's just molded plastic inside. You know, you get you get none of that uh, the sort of nice little touches that the the Black Series one are offering. Um, and it really is, you know, just sort of one size fits all. Essentially, it's a you know, it's a not it's a, you'd say it's probably a, a kid's toy and is not a hundred percent made for collectors. Where this one would uh, I think fits into that that latter camp that yeah it's a, it's a collector's piece it's you know it's it's not necessarily a toy you can use it for that but you know the, the first one is is obviously more made for for that market so yeah I'm pleased with it I, I can't say that there is you know a massive difference between the two uh, this one currently retails at around a hundred pounds UK um, I forget what I bought this one for um, it, it, I don't think it was anywhere near that, probably around 30, 40 pounds, I imagine. So, um, yeah, so it, it is good. Again, if you're building a collection of the Black Series stuff, then, um, and you don't have a Vader, certainly worth adding to it. Um, I think, you know, I'm 50-50, maybe I'd have stuck with this one, as I think it does just a good a job. It's a, a similar size to the other ones that I've got. Um, but nevertheless, still still pleased with this one. Um, I think it will look great on the shelf uh, with the other ones. So um, yeah, I'm I'm going to add that to the collection now and uh, and sadly retire old faithful here. So of course we couldn't finish the video without showing you the finished article. Um, it fits really well. Um, all the components go together nicely. Um, it's comfortable. It's light enough to wear, you can see out really well. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you'd like to see more of the Black Series replicas, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I mean, in the meantime, if you could take the time to like, share and subscribe the videos, um, that would help me and of course, the dark side. So thanks very much.